Sorry, he's like freaking you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sitting here talking about food, and we've got this huge palmetto roach that's like hanging out in the window right over here. Okay, in the south. What's up guys and welcome to another video. Now we're going to do something that we haven't done in a little bit today and that is a catch and cook video. Actually the cook portion of the video. A while back we managed to hook into a nice size little stingray when we were out fishing Mustang Island. If you haven't seen that video I'll go ahead and post it above you guys right up there. Or right up here some whichever side it's supposed to be on. Anyway we managed to land ourselves a good size little stingray. Now, a lot of people are kind of against the idea of eating stingray. I don't know why. It's kind of, uh, you know, it's kind of sad because they're a good eating fish. Uh, but I'm going to show you just how good they are to eat today. And the way I'm going to go about doing that is by making a really simple recipe. Now, I'm going to play with some things that you might or might not have access to. That's totally fine. It's a real simple recipe. I'm just going to spray the pan down with a little bit of olive oil. That way the uh, fillets do not stick to the pan. And then I'm going to season it and you can use anything you want. I mean, keep it real simple. I'm using some salt and some pepper, and I'm gonna throw a little bit of habanero seasoning on there just because I haven't tried the seasoning and I'm kind of interested in seeing how it tastes. Now, the rest of it's gonna be simple. Throw on a little bit of butter, and I like to put a little Parmesan cheese just because it's a real generic ingredient that you can always apply to fish, butter, and Parmesan seasoning. You never go wrong with that. So I'm gonna do that just because it's a simple way to prepare fish. I'm going to throw it into the oven at 375 degrees for about 15 minutes. And after 15 minutes, we're gonna check on it. I might cook it for just a little bit longer than that, depending on how it looks. But that's gonna be it, man. Real simple recipe. It's a really easy thing to do. You can do this with any kind of fish. I'm doing it with stingray because there's a stigma against cooking stingray for some reason. But it comes out really good, man. We're gonna set this for, let's what's 375 is what we normally go for, Rachel? Yes. And I'm gonna have steady. I'm gonna show off my favorite outlet. And how long we cook it for? Steamer? Oh shoot, no, that's the temperature. Yeah, yeah it's thick start. fillets, so, so I'm gonna say. Start with 15, and we'll check it with Yeah, yeah, we'll start with 15 minutes. And then we'll check it after 15 minutes. If it needs a little bit more time, we'll give it some more time. Mama? They don't know we're coming. So I've got this plated out and ready for them to go. Now we're going to surprise them with it, see what they have to say. It's a very nice. Take a taste of it, tell me what you think. Just tell me that. Okay. Then I'll get out of your faces. I know you guys are very. Mm -hmm. Okay. I don't like it. What? I love it! Oh, you got me. Burn. Solid burns off. Get out of here. Solid burn, Sammy. Solid burn. Yes, I would have marinated it a little bit because I know it's got a little bit of a sandy taste. Okay. It is, it's got a great flavor though. Savannah, one more bite? Okay. This one. Mm -hmm. I've been loving it. So this is the kind of fish you want me to catch more of? And it's not that it makes a difference to the taste, it makes a difference to the consistency, I guess. Yeah. It's interesting. I don't know about the dog. Okay, so at the end of the day, what's my rating on this? The taste is great. Yeah. One to ten, what do we give it? I give it a Did you just seven. break the fork on it? <laughs> yeah, that's why I said edit that out. Yeah, I'll, I'll edit that out. We'll, we'll cut out the part mm -hmm. where you broke the fork. Yeah. So, I would say that texture is a little bit different. The flavor is wonderful. The flavor is great. Don't like the chewiness. It tastes very good. So I guess I would give it a out of ten. Hey. I give it the texture is great. I love how it's like it I I didn't like it how it was in it too long, but I do love it so a scum one to ten, I give it a 10. What about, wait a second, I got a 10? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> really? Mm -hmm. What do you give him, Mama? 
I give it an A. That's an average nine. There you go. This nine. is an A. Nine. Solid burn. And you get nine. You guys get beach time tomorrow. <laughs> All right, well, you guys eat up. You need your protein for the beach tomorrow. Thank you. What are we going to catch? Reds. Reds? She means whiting. She's colorblind, red, white. <gasps> How dare you! <laughs> All right, so that's the results of the stingray. Now, I'm going to try a bite of a filet. Now that I've passed... <laughs> Yeah, I haven't even tasted it yet. So now that uh, now that we've passed it through those guys, now it's my turn. I'll take a I'll take a look at it myself. See what we think. All right, Rachel. Rachel's feeding it to me here. She wants me to taste the bloodline. That's more tender. Then, dude, that came out good. Now taste. Look, this looks like turkey. It looks like like turkey. Good taste. It does. It tastes like Thanksgiving turkey. No, this is awesome. This is South Texas turkey, man. That's not what I said. They come out good. That's not. That's not how that works, Paul. That's how any of this works. Don't listen to her. Don't. This is awesome. That's not how any of this works. That's not what I said. It tastes like dark meat turkey. Part of the fork. No, she breaks forks. That's. Don't listen to that. <laughs> On the scale of Menhaden. Is Manhattan the worst? Like, that's not the worst. No. Skipjack was bad. No, for me, Snook's bad, but everybody else loves Snook. Snook, I'm yeah, I'm Snook for her, Barrett Good for me. What's the worst fish I ever had in my life? Or worst, worst three fish we ever had. I'm gonna guess I Manhattan, know. Skipjack. Oh no, Jack Crevel. Oh my gosh. Oh, there you Jack go. Yeah, you okay. Worst okay. fish I ever had in my life was Jack Crevel. Those things are awful. Worst. That's an excellent call. Okay, so on a scale of like, Jack Crevail. It tasted like fire. It no, it, like old I don't know how you could taste Jack Crevail eating Jack Crevail because no, it, it was 90% worms. It tasted like an oil drum. Those things were terrible. God, that was awful. It tasted like an oil drum. Jack Caesar, awful. Terrible <laughs> fish. So uh, that's the bottom, absolute worst fish I ever had in my life, no, the okay. Jack Crevail. Like so on that. a scale of Jack Crevail no. to tile fish. Please. I'm gonna rate this as okay. whiting. You think whiting's better? Well, it tastes. Sandy. I actually think this is better than whiting. I do too. It tastes sandy though. I'm getting a gritty thing. I'll be Dark meat sandy. turkey. Oh stop! Dad, That's what it tastes like. like. Dude, you couldn't. We're gonna do a taste test where we put yeah. this next to turkey and you see if anybody can like tell turkey? the difference. I do, man. After you really? said that, yeah, I cannot. I don't think it's like turkey at all. I think it tastes good. Mm -hmm. Sorry, he's like freaking you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. saying, well, I'm sitting here what? talking about food, and we've got this huge palmetto roach that's like hanging out in the no. window right over here. Okay, in the south, we call them. We palmetto live in South bugs. Texas. Yeah, they're in called the palmetto bugs, but what they're they are roaches. are these giant like mm -hmm. hissing cockroaches that we got down that's here. Disgusting. Last time I cooked stingray, y'all ate it for breakfast. I eat Yak Motley okay, yeah, and Motley. Brian Grant okay. or whatever his name. Dad ate it. For breakfast. No. <laughs> no, everybody ate it. Can I make a, uh, I, okay. I made a, uh, I made a Yak Motley and Angler Up with Brant joke eating them for breakfast. You want to make a, uh, you want to make a Jackie Shea and Darcizzle joke? No. She eats them for breakfast. Paul, this is the same stingray I already cooked and caught. I have a real serious problem with this stingray. That we're out of it. I ain't got no more stingray. We gotta go get another one. Yeah, last time Rachel put a whole lot of work and effort into the stingray that she cooked. I did not. That was part of the whole video thing that we were doing. I wanted to make it really simple. And man, it came out really good. Simple, salt, pepper, a little Parmesan cheese and butter. That You throw that on any kind of fish and it's gonna come out awesome. This came out really good. If you've never tried Stingray, next time you catch one, if it's like a good size, if it's not, let it go, dude. Those guys are nice. Cut off the stinger, you're good to go. If you don't if you don't understand what I'm saying about that, check the video because I went through the whole thing, that one that I posted earlier about us fishing out on Mustang Island. I go, I go through a whole thing about, about you know, letting uh, Stingrays go. But if you don't let it go, don't just leave it on the beach, don't just kill it. 
No. Yeah, bring it home, cook it, because they're good eating. Man, this is... We got a little controversy going on here about our stingray, but... I guarantee, you're, you're not going to be disappointed. You're not going to eat this and be like, oh my god, it's like, uh, that guy was so wrong. No, it might not be the greatest fish in the world. It's not tilefish. I'm not going to compare it to sheep's egg. It's good, though. Or snapper. Oh, no, I mean, but it's good, dude. Fine yeah. Rachel's favorite fish is spade fish. Yeah. I think spade fish is better than this. Oh. Yeah. But, but they're on the same level. This, trout, whiting, and spade fish are on the same level. I'm just saying, give me a stingray, giant stingray. Give me stingray steaks, and I can see everybody. All right, guys, so that was about it. That was our stingray. It came out really good. I think when it was all said and done, we got it. We ended up getting a final rating of 12 out of 10. I think that was the math. 18 out of 10? It, it tastes like turkey. Dude, it was really good. Yeah, I was tickled with it. I thought it came out real. I wasn't expecting it to be that good after uh, it's been in the freezer for three months. Oh, that's why you were concerned about it. You should say that. Staying right after the freezer for three months. I was concerned because it's been in the freezer for three months and all we had was salt, pepper, and, salt, pepper, and butter. <laughs> Hashtag fairy kooks. <laughs> Anyway, guys, we really appreciate you guys checking this out. Thank you guys for watching. If you get yourself a stingray, enjoy it. Cook that thing up. They're good eating. And we will catch you guys in the next video. Thank you, guys. Like and subscribe down below and give us a big thumbs up. And give us a little one's finger. This is our new friend, Adrian. He's our new family member. Say hello, Adrian. <laughs> He's not going to say hello. He's not going to say hello. He might want to.